People continue protesting racial injustice across the country. That includes in Auburn, which had its first organized protest today. It was originally scheduled for last week, but was pushed back because of threats organizers were getting. Fox 55's Chris Maluli joins us live. So, Chris, what were some of those threats? Yeah, Hunter, they were just condemning what the protests stood for. We're here at the Kalb County outside the courthouse. Actually, on one side was all the protesters. On the other side of the street was one man who had a White Lives Matter sign, obviously counter-protesting what everyone here stood for. But everyone I talked to says a change has to be made in order to break ground, in order to bring some more communication between one of those guys and them. Dozens showing up Tuesday afternoon looking for change. The DeKalb County Courthouse lined with protesters, including Susan Catterall. And we've had a hard time getting younger people involved. This, this seems to have brought the young people in, and that's a really good thing. Catterall came from Hamilton County and says the collection she has seen here and in Fort Wayne shows how strong this movement is. I think we're going in the wrong direction. We have been for many, many decades. And the only thing that's gonna bring about change is if everyone stands together and demands it. Catterall says economic and social issues continue to hurt people of color and says the upcoming election will be important to create change. You know, show people that it's not hard to vote, it's easy and it actually matters. Which Janet Canino is making easy. Yeah, I have a daughter who has inspired me by contacting the mayor when she sees a problem and, and you know, taking action. While one man set up a White Lives Matter sign on this street, Canino is advocating for younger generations to vote. Take it into action. So it's important that this enthusiasm translates into change. In order to change some people's attitudes and views. It's going to take time to change attitudes, but by being respectful, getting people to address the issues and getting people out to vote, I think that's how we slowly change for the better. Now, the original was supposed to be for last Thursday, obviously was rescheduled for today. Last week had about 40 people. There are no plans right now whether there are going to be another protest here in Auburn. But if there was, there will be on the Instagram page, I can't breathe underscore Auburn is where they will be continuing to give updates. In DeKalb County, Chris Maluli, Fox 55 News.